I can't pretend that I always have had self-control. Uh, there's been many a times, and especially training when you're wound up really tight, in which you know I've lost self-control. It's never beneficial. You know, when you have got self-control, you're probably more accurate. You're more calculated. You're probably going to have better technique. Hey, good if I'm waiting to fight somebody at a competition and I've got loads of negative thoughts going through my mind or how good they are and their strengths and my weaknesses, then that's not going to help me when I compete onto the mat. So it's all about putting those, turning those negative thoughts into positive and focusing on what I'm going to do. So when I go onto the mat, I've got more of a chance um, to beat my opponent. It is aggressive sometimes and it can be a little bit boisterous and a bit violent but you have to have that self-control and that sort of clinical thinking to be able to win. If you lose control, especially in a tournament, it, everything can just unravel and go out the window. So self-control is, is a massive thing for in, within judo and not just on the mat, not just sort of, oh, you know, You've got to have control over all parts of your life. When I was younger and I wasn't having a bad session, like I'd get very emotional. Um, and that would just be my way of showing my frustration. Um, but as I've got older, I've learned how to control that by just focusing on, okay, what, what is it that I actually want to get out of this session? And if I'm having a bad session, then okay, it's not the end of the world. You just go again and again and again until you get it right.